Hi again, I'm Suzanne Perry, founder of Love Shouldn't Hurt That TV. We are on day number 21 of October, which is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Today I am going to answer a couple of questions I received all in one video. And the topic is, what constitutes abuse? If it isn't physical, can I be verbally abused? Can I be emotionally abused? And the answer is a great big yes. What qualifies for something like that? Does your partner talk to you differently when you're in public as opposed to when you're in private? Do they treat you one way when you're out and about and another way when you're home? Do you often leave a conversation with your partner feeling overwhelmed or confused? Does your partner discount your opinions. Do you feel nervous or upset knowing that you want to talk about a certain topic that you just know is going to set your partner off so you avoid it altogether? Do you feel like your self-esteem and confidence has decreased? Does your partner deny being upset or angry when obviously they are? Verbal abuse tends to be secretive. It usually happens in private. They don't go out in public and be like, rah, 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 rah. They wait until no one else can hear them. They use words and silence to control you. To control you, control your words, control what you do, how you react. And verbal abuse increases over time. You learn to just adapt to it. Does this sound like your relationship? Do you answer yes to any of these things? Does this resonate with you? And these are indicators of verbal abuse. And there is no reason why you need to be subjected to it. You should be able to be confident and be yourself with your partner. You shouldn't have to worry what topics come up. You shouldn't have to avoid certain things. You should never be afraid to have a discussion with your partner. So if this sounds like you, make your plan and head out because this is not a healthy relationship for you. If you have any questions, please email me, info at loveshouldnhurt.tv. I'm Suzanne Perry. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.